Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to exclude files and folders in the Kaspersky Security Cloud free antivirus. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to first open up the Kaspersky Security Cloud interface, and then select the setting icon on the bottom left corner of the interface here. Go ahead and just left click on that, it should say settings. Select Additional on the left side, and now select Threats and Exclusions on the right panel. Scroll down here. Underneath Exclusions, you can add exclusions and trusted applications whose activity will not be controlled. Go ahead and select Manage Exclusions. At this point, if you select the Add button, you can go ahead and add specific files or folders here, and which protection components you want to exclude from being detected or scanned. You probably don't want to change any of these, but you can if you want to. And again, under the File or Folder, select the Browse button, and you can go ahead and select the file path of whichever file or folder you don't want to be detected. And then you just would select the Select button to select that, and that pretty much be about it. At that point, then you can go ahead and select Add, select continue and if you ever wanted to change the status to inactive meaning it will start scanning it again you have the option to so once you have the exclusion in here you can select the edit button down here and if you want to set it to inactive you can and if you wanted to change any of these protection component detections you are welcome to as well and once you're done making your change if you ever wanted to remove or delete the exclusion you can just select the delete button down here while highlighting over it and then select continue so Pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.